of Shauna Robinson? Shauna who? Shauna Robinson. She drives for NASCAR. When I grow up, I'm going to race in the Daytona 500, just like Shauna Robinson. You're dreaming. How are you going to do that? Well, I'm going to start by building my own soapbox derby racer and take you on head to head. Don't bet on it. All those guys can outrace you any day. Ha ha. So anyway, is that a brake assembly? How do you install that? Yeah, it's a brake assembly. I didn't think you knew much about car parts. I know more than you think I do. Yeah, well, get lost. I've got a lot of work to do. The soapbox derby is only eight weeks away. OK, Jeff Gordon Jr., I'm out of here. Your brother kick you out again? Yeah, but I understand. Building a soapbox racer requires a lot of concentration. You should know. You built and raced one when you were that age. Yep. Building that racer gave me a lifelong love of cars. You know, you need to cut your brother a little slack. To build a winning racer, he's going to need to concentrate. Oh, I know. I think it's a really cool thing, and I want him to win this year. This year? Yep, this year, because next year I'm entering, and I plan on winning. I already found out I'm old enough. I should have entered this year. That's the spirit. Hey, uh, I need a little break. I'll get us a cold drink, and I'll uh, let you sit in my racer. All right. Thanks. Hey, who's this? Oh, look a little closer. You know her. Is that your mom? <laughs> sure is. Yeah, she raced back in the Derby in 1974. Now, she didn't win or anything, but uh, she raced in several heats. In fact, my family goes way back in the Soapbox Derby. Right there's a picture of my grandpa. He raced all the way back in 1955. I'd really like to know how successful the girls have been since they started racing against the boys. Uh, well, it sounds like you want to figure out how many times the girls have won and how many times the boys have won and the ratio of wins by both. How do we do that? Well, the first thing we'll probably need is some information, like a database. Database? Yeah. This is just an organized list of the number of boys and the number of girls who have won. You'll probably need those numbers before you can start your ratios. How do we get those numbers? Well, let's see. We can do a couple of things. Um, how about the internet? Uh, the Soapbox Derby has a website. I've got the Soapbox Derby website bookmarked. Let's see what we can find. Ah, here's a list of all the winners. That's probably a good place to start. Let's see how many girls have won and how many boys have won. So, what'd you find? Well, until the 1970s, the Derby had all boys, but after that, we girls did pretty well. Counted 628 boys who won and 209 girls. So, how do we figure out a ratio? Well, that's pretty easy. The first thing we do is we round the numbers to 600 and 200. Then we drop the zeros. What do you have left? A six and a two. That's right. So the boys have won the soapbox derby at a six to two ratio over the girls. But we can break that down a step further. How? That's where math comes in. You can divide six by two, right? Uh-huh. Six divided by two is three. And what's two divided by itself? One. Right. So we can simplify our ratio from six to two down to three to one. The boys have won the soapbox derby by a ratio of three to one over the girls. That means for every three wins the boys have had, one girl has won. By the way, you show ratios three different ways. You can set the numbers off by a colon, use the word two, or write it as a fraction. In this case, the fraction would be three over one. Even though the boys have won a three to one margin overall, the girls have done really well since the 1970s when they started to race. Yeah, you've done all right. Maybe we'll see how that ratio changes when we compare just the years the girls started to compete. Okay, here's the thing. There really haven't been 628 winners of the All-American Soapbox Derby. Find the real numbers and do the math. Oh, and while you're at it, help Bridget figure out the ratio of wins since the girls started competing in 1971. the importance of accuracy and precision in measurements. I learned that, you know, normally when you're doing something you think, oh, I'm only a quarter of an inch off. Well, you realize in the derby, if you're a quarter of an inch off, things aren't going to match up. And at the end of the project, you're not going to have a derby car. So does that ratio give you a little more incentive for next year? Sure does. Well, it's time to bug my brother again. 
and it's all time for lunch. Hey, did you know that Alex is the third generation soapbox derby racer in his family? His grandpa raced in the 50s and his mom in the 70s. Hey, wanna get some lunch? Yeah, I'm starving. Okay, I'll call for the pizza if you ask mom for the money. Hey, it was your idea, you ask her. Alex taught me a way to figure out ratios. He downloaded information from the Soapbox Derby website and figured out that boys won three to one over the girls. But that's not the whole story. Girls didn't race much until the 70s. I bet we can figure out a lot of other ways for collecting and using data. I learned in school that ratios can be used a lot of different ways. Like the school cafeteria uses them to see what food we all like to eat. That way they can order the right amount to fix. But our cafeteria never gets it right. Advertisers also use them to figure out who to target their commercials to and the best time of day to run them. And I guess that's why they run toy commercials on Saturday morning. So it's all about collecting information and analyzing what it all means. Right. In class, after we collected our data, we learned how to graph our findings so that they were easy to understand. Like how? Well, we made bar graphs, picture graphs, line plots, stem and leaf plots, and box plots. I remember when you had homework like that. In school, we learned that uh, collecting and analyzing data was part of the scientific method. In fact, scientists can even make predictions based upon the data they collect. So we can figure out the chances of my beating you at next year's Soapbox Derby by looking at the history of who has already won the Derby. Well, in theory, I guess you're right. But I'll have an edge over you. What? Experience. I'm racing in this year's Derby, and you're going to be cheering me on. Well, big brother, you're right about me cheering you on this year, but next year, you're going to eat my dust. <laughs> By the way, bet you didn't know that there were two girls in the very first soapbox derby, and one of them came in second place? Get out of here. Uh-huh. She kept it a secret until they gave her a boy's bike for a prize. <laughs> It did help me with math, and I learned so much in air, about aerodynamics and loss of energy due to friction that I found that it really improved my science skills and helped me to uh, excel in the physical science realm.